Hello everyone, it's Dev here. I am literally in the middle of Nebraska in a state recreation area. And thank God for this rig because I would not have made it back here without it. I don't know who's maintaining these roads, but I would not come back here in a camper van or a car or an RV or anything of the like. That is Sherman Reservoir. And for my neighbors, I don't know if you can hear them or not. I didn't put the road mic on because I wanted you to hear them. Can you hear that? There are tons of cows just over that hill. And they're all mooing away. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty late, but at least I made it here before the sun set, finally. Finally! This is like the first night I've made it to a campsite before the sun set. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Of course, now the wind's picking up. Hopefully you can hear me. I am not from Nebraska, so I had to pay an $8 permit fee to get in here. And then primitive camping is $10, so it was $18 for this night. And they kept saying something about campsites and everything, but I swear to you, there are no campsites. There's just this big loop. They have a vault toilet there, which is pretty nasty. There's no lights in there. God forbid you have to go to the bathroom in the dark. But I have my own potty, thankfully. They do have picnic tables and little grills. And you can fish down here. And up here at the sign, where you have to leave your money, they tell you what kind of fish are here. And they have trash cans. But I came down this road, and it was really hairy. Like, the road is like this. And I'm not kidding. It's a, just a big hump. And, uh, even in this thing, I was kind of getting white knuckled <laughs> but she made it she's a beast I didn't have to put in four-wheel drive or anything but like I said I would not come back here in anything less than you know a four-wheel drive or truck or you know anything like that I would never have brought my car down here not in a million years and there's no way I would bring an RV back here so if that's what you're wanting to do, don't come here. Okay, hold on. I will walk up that little road here. And I will show you those signs up there. Hold on. Okay, so this is the first sign you see when you come in. All campers must register. And they have walleye, crappy northern pike, limit one pike 15 crappy fish <laughs> such a weird name and you have to release the the walleye that are between 20 and 28 inches so that's the first sign Let's see if I can get you down here without shaking the camera too much Probably not. This top sign is really, really faded. It says you have to register after taking occupancy, $5 late fee, blah, blah, blah. No alcohol at night, which is weird. You can drink during the day, but not at night. Which is kind of strange because you know at night nobody's leaving. But during the day they're probably going to go driving out of here. 
So I don't understand that, but whatever. And then this is where you put your money. And it's so weird because they keep talking about campsite fees. Like there's actually campsites here and there are none. There's nothing. I came down this road and it's a dead end. It's just a loop. There's no, there's no posts. There's nothing. And this sign over here tells you to stay off the grass in the fields. Well, if I didn't park right where I did, I would be in the driveway and I'm pretty sure they don't want me to park there. So whatever, I don't know. But I am not from Nebraska and you have to get the park permit and the camping fee. So I paid my $8 for my permit and the $10 for the primitive. And those are the other rules. You want to pause and read them. Oh, oh my. There's a lot of birds around here. A lot of birds and a lot of cows. We're in the rolling hills of Nebraska and you, sh you wouldn't believe, if you don't live here or if you've never traveled through here, you would not believe the amount of grazing cattle in the state. It's just amazing. This and in Iowa, there was a lot of cattle in Iowa. There's a lot of bugs here, but so far I've not been bitten by any mosquitoes. Keeping my fingers crossed that I don't either. Oh, sorry. See, that's a steep grade. Oh, I'm telling you. This road is just... It's crazy. It's just a great big hump in the middle of the... In the middle of the road. And I just straddled it all the way here. This isn't actually very bad. But when you're coming in down this long, windy road, it just goes like this. And I was, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> but this was the last stop. I didn't have anywhere else to go. If I went any further on Nebraska 92 East, I would have been out of luck for quite a while. This was the last stop I could get. So, so vehicles keep off grass and fields. I mean, I don't have a problem keeping off the field. There's no way I'm going to take my rig up there. That's, I presume that's what they mean by the fields. But there's just, there's no actual campsites. I have no idea what these people are talking about. There's another sign. I think this says no parking. no vehicles beyond this point so I don't know how they expect anybody to get up in there anyways I guess if you're in a little four-wheeler maybe I don't know what that is probably somebody's trash that's gross I don't think I want to climb up there to get it though that looks like a thistle normally I would clean up after somebody but I'm not walking through that I've got my flip-flops on right now and it looks like thistle up there. It's getting dark. But this is all I needed. I just needed a place to sleep. Last night I stayed at that hotel, or motel, in Lusk, Wyoming. And that was expensive. And the only thing I really got out of it was a bed. I mean, I got very limited internet that night. I was able to upload a video, but it took all night. And then this morning when I went to... Um, to schedule it and everything the internet was gone it was just gone I was able to make a few comments and reply to some people that had left comments on my videos but that was it so this is home for the night this is my backyard for the night until noon tomorrow I have to leave by noon I don't like the toilet. I just went in there and it, it was, ugh. I mean, I know vault toilets aren't supposed to be nice or anything, but 
That was really not nice at all. I'm glad I have my little bucket with me because I don't think I want to go in there again. You can see somebody had a campfire there. There's a place I can sit if I want and eat breakfast. It is so quiet out here. The only thing you can hear are the bugs and the cows. And me now. There's a rope hanging here. I suppose there was probably a tire hanging on that at one point. I'm not sure where you'd go fishing at. There's got to be some kind of... Uh, maybe down there. Oh, I hear something. It doesn't say no campfires, but I don't have any wood. So I cannot make a campfire. I wouldn't want to in there anyway. Somebody left the trash. Oh, oh my God. There's even a trash can right up there and people still so lazy they can't. Uh, oh, I don't understand. I don't know what that white thing is out there. Some kind of. Uh, water level measurement measure thing, I guess. That's really steep. It looks like the water level's down. You can tell the water is usually coming up a little bit. But this is a reservoir, so I guess that's to be expected. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to try to go down there to fish. Oh yeah, you can tell the water level is down. It should be up to here. Look at those tree roots. Oh my. It's very pretty. This is a really big reservoir. Can you hear the cows? Maybe not with all the ruckus from the bugs. It extends way out there. It's really big. If you look on a map, you'll see how big it is. This is right outside of Loop City. L-O-U-P. Loop. It was kind of hard to find. Not really, but for me, I guess it was. <laughs> I just get a little nerve-wracked when I'm at the end of the day driving, and I'm like, come on, I just want to get where I'm going. Okay, well, it's getting really dark. Hopefully the mosquitoes don't come out and suck my blood dry or anything. All right, guys, this is Tuesday night in Nebraska. I'll get back to you another time. Bye.